Hello, and welcome to the Mindfulness Cleaning Channel. I'm Hope, your host, and today I'm going to teach you a streak-free, non-toxic, cost-efficient way to cleaning windows and mirrors. I'm going to demonstrate it on a mirror and it applies the same to windows. Now, to start with, I have the camera angled from a side view because when you have when you look at a mirror from the side, you can see the dust and the streaks that lie on on the mirror. I also have sun shining through purposely on the mirror to help bring out the dust particles. This way you can see a before and you can see an after when it's all done. Now, there is an upfront cost to this process and to this solution for cleaning mirrors. And the reason why is, well, everything costs money, but um, this is reusable. And so you pay up front to save money later, or at least I pay up front to save money later. Now, the tools that I use are, I use a microfiber cleaning cloth set. It includes a microfiber towel, and it also includes a microfiber buffing cloth. You can buy a pack of these, an eight pack of these for about $14. I also have my own solution of 50% vinegar, 50% water that I put into a spray bottle. The spray bottle costs about $3 and the vinegar is about $1.50. So all in, you're, you're spending roughly $20 up front. The spray bottle you can reuse until it breaks, which if you take care of it, it, it may not break at all, ever. And then microfiber cloths, as long as you're washing them properly, uh, these will last many, many, many years to come. A bottle of Windex costs about $3 and paper towels will run about a dollar, two bucks, depending on where you're purchasing them. So, and, and the paper towels create waste. Um, so after about four purchases of the Windex and paper towels, you would have already paid for this set that you can reuse. So let's get started. First, I mix a solution of 50% vinegar, 50% water, and put it in the bottle. Mix it up. I shake it up every time before I use it, just in case to make sure it's all mixed up. And I spray on the mirror. Just spray enough of the solution on the mirror. Then I use, I'm gonna set the buffing cloth down for now. I use the microfiber towel to basically work away at all of the streaks and all of the dust and also take away a lot of the moisture. Do that, I move in a circular motion. I don't know the reason why I do that, but I do. I guess it's just easier for me. <laughs> I feel like it's like the karate kid, wax on, wax off method. Right, so I've just I've used this microfiber towel, got off most of the moisture. Next, after that, I use the buffing cloth, and this will take out all of the streaks and take away all of the dust that remains on the mirror. And again, I'm going in a circular motion. It's just growing up with Karate Kid influenced me in how I clean things. <laughs> Uh, I'm also a black belt too, so there's a little bit of that in me. And there you go. Completely streak free. This is reusable. This is reusable. And this is reusable. And we know that vinegar, distilled vinegar, is non toxic. Now, one thing before I go, I want to mention. When you're using microfiber towels and microfiber buffing, buffing cloths, I recommend washing them separately from all the other laundry and also just using soap. Do not use bleach, do not use fabric softener. They, they really break down the material and then they'll last a lot longer for you. And with that, happy cleaning. <laughs>